Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to um, another Sean's tutorial. Um, today I will introduce a um, grasshopper plugin called um, Gizmo. Um, the Gizmo plugin is some kind of like um, duplicated some function of um, a panel, but will be more easier to use and more simple function and um, working also working better with um, Orion um, so let me show you how to do it um, first of all just download from Fruit for Rhino Grasshopper um, GitHub you can download um, for free and then once you got installed it, um, it actually reads the um, OpenStreetMap data and also read the shape file. That's what we gonna going to achieve. Um, the different with um, Urbano is Gizmo uh, work as a center point, set it as to be um, origin point as a zero zero zero. Um, with that, you may um, need to have. Um, really specific project location but in Urbano if you work in a um, couple different shape file like a much larger scale rather than just a suburb um, you always can stitch it but um, in Gizmo you you just can work in the original point as a zero zero of course you can change it but um, because that's the three three dimensional things also contain with the um, contours, so it may be a little bit hard to stitch it, um, different different site, different projects together. Okay, um, so some good thing about Gizmo is got um, 3D row. Um, what you need to input it just um, line in Rhino that means you draw a line and you input it and you type a row width and you got the 3D line as 3D line as um as a row as a 3D profile and also you can attach to to the ground terrain. I'll with this one I will show you in the later video. Also um um 3D forest Pretty much, you just hatch one patch of the surface and reference to that components and just type random or tree density setup, and you will have um, preset tree forest setting. It's also good to have um, have your cadastre and also between the cadastre boundary and the wall width, you can use as the the nature strip used as the forest surface to randomly generate, quick generate the strip tree, so it can give you some um, a real quick um, urban visual visualization if you don't have the tree data, uh, which we will use the actual tree data supply from council. Um, to build a tree around the suburbs uh, that will explain in next tutorial as well. Um, 3D roof wasn't quite useful because I've been tried a couple of times, three, four times. It just doesn't work. Maybe because the um, because the building footprint is so complicated. We can refine the building footprint as well, um, but in terms of the 3D roof, is still not really working real well so that's pretty much um, the easy function um, for Gizmo I'll see you in the next tutorial we will start with um, generate the shape file from Orion about the building footprint um, thank you see you soon